Hi, I'm Chao Jung, a physicist working in Korea. Many of you should have seen image of sliding stone at Death Valley in USA, and this is related to my talk today. And most of you should have observed the sliding cup at the winter restaurant. And what is physics between, between beyond these mysteries? Any common fact? Let's go. And this is probably the first report on underlying physics on sliding cup in winter. I think my talk is a kind of appetizer and is like a Columbus egg. My physics talk is easy and very interesting to wide public and very original. At one day of 2018 June, I went to a restaurant at dinner in France. A small physics talk of mine encouraged the family to invite me to join their dinner table. I really enjoyed the wonderful two hours there. And over 20 years, I had beautiful memory like this. Physics can be very enjoyable even at seafood restaurant. The mystery of a sliding stone has been revealed already around 2012. The careful observation using GPS and time-lapse camera solved the mystery. The formation of thin and wide ice, reduction of friction, wind, gravitational slope can incorporate to move the heavy stone around sunrise time. The first weapon of physics to solve the mystery of nature is good observation, also regeneration of our past memory. If I pour the hot tea into the cup, the cup begins to slide a few seconds later, later. And my memory also says that I observed this mystery mostly in winter. Now I got some hint. Very important. Sliding cup should be possible due to reduced friction between the cup bottom and table surface. But how? This is my exploration, and perhaps the first report in the world. This H-shaped one is a cross-section of a cup, and the cup has a concave bottom space here. This is very important. At first, the temperature of air is 17 degrees of Celsius, and the pressure is 180 atmospheric pressure here also, here also. Now, if, I, if you pour hot water into the cup, this hot water hit this air. For example, up to 46 degrees of Celsius. Now, we need PV equal NLT very famous ideal gas equation. Here, volume and number of gas, mo gas molecules is fixed, it's constant. So, temperature change gives press change. So, 10% change about temperature gives 10% change in pressure. Now, the air pocket, the pressure becomes 1.1 atmospheric pressure. So this will give us upward force against this downward force by 1 atm air. How big is this? And 1 atm pressure is due to weight of air stacked up to 100 km. This is equivalent to 1 kg mass put on the area of 1 square centimeter. Huge. The majority of air exists only up to 10 km, and water density is 1,000 times higher than density of air. So 0.1 atmospheric pressure change gives you 1 meter water column. So if the cup bottom area is 10 cm square, then this additional pressure difference 
can push up 1 kg mass against downward force by 1 ATM crunch air. That's enough. Your cup with water is less than 1 kg. So is air pocket well isolated? Yes. In the winter. If you clean table with wet dish cloth, many small water droplets remain on the top surface, and these water droplets form the circular rim between the cup bottom and table surface. So heated air can push up the cup. So if the table is only slightly tilted, the gravitational force move down this cup. The reduction of friction is also used for air hockey and also hovercraft. But the probability of sliding cup is only a few percent. You may have observed this phenomenon only a few times for each winter. Why? The heated air tends to leak out instead of pushing up the cup. And this bubble formation, as soon as you pour the hot water, so time is not enough to vaporize the water droplet. This bubble is due to the pressurized air in the air pocket. Here is my experiment. So I supplied water droplets here on top of a very flat glass table. And then I poured hot water in the plastic cup. Now you will see the sliding of a cup. Step by step. Okay, five centimeter. Jaiova, Gambate, Power Up. Bongpa! I used a very flat glass table for the experiment. I tested 10 mug cups, but all failed. And then I bought a $1 plastic cup. And I grind the bottom until it becomes very flat. And this is my favorite figure. And the figure is on new discovery. We cannot find new land more. But we still can see the world with new eye. How about physics I? The theme of my talk is that the right application of even simple physics gives you a new view of the world. Please wait for my next video on appetizing physics. Thank you for your time.